Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to understand the concept of main method in Java, the public static void main. This particular method, which we have always used so far uh, in almost every program that we created. So what is it? What is the importance of it? And what are some of the frequently asked questions in the interview around that? And some conceptual understanding of the main method uh, is what we are going to see in this session. So main method in Java is you can say as a starting point, the entry point of the execution. The reason we had created a main method, if you go like a static main, so we have a main method and inside the main method we created the objects of other methods etc. So why did we do it? If you try to execute a Java program, the JVM looks for a main method. So whenever we execute a Java application, JVM looks for public static void main method and executes it. So this main method is the entry point, is the starting point in the execution of any Java program. First main method gets executed and then main method calls all the other methods which are required to execute the application. So what is JVM? It is Java Virtual Machine. Again, there is a lot of theory behind it, but let us try to understand this concept in easy way. When Java released in 1995, uh, at that duration, most of the programming languages, they always used uh, some or the other operating system. They were dependent on some or the other operating system. They were kind of tied up to those. Now, Java created a revelation uh, and it introduced platform independence and when I say platform independence it simply introduced something called as JVM as a baseline program uh, which takes care of providing the runtime environment for the Java code to get executed so Java introduced a baseline program called as JVM that can be installed on any of the operating systems and then JVM used to provide and JVM provides the basic configuration or you can say basic uh, runtime environment to execute any code that is developed in Java. So that is the JVM, a baseline program that provides the runtime environment. Now this runtime environment when you install on uh, say Linux or Macintosh or Windows so a Java program, when you develop it on Macintosh, you can easily take it on a Windows operating system and run it. Just because the underlying, the base program is, is the same. That's the, that's the JVM. Okay. So now we understand one thing that when we execute a Java application, JVM looks for public static void main method to begin the execution of that particular application. So one thing we understand here that public static void main this main method is the entry point of the execution of any of the Java application now we are talking about the applications which are developed in core Java not any server-led kind of applications why it is public first thing we know that public has the scope everywhere in the project and then it is easy for JVM to find it and execute it so scope wise if you make it as a, a default access specifier or a private then there is no way JVM can find the method and execute it so makes sense to make it public now let's look at void why it is void the main method is not supposed to return any value we know that whenever we provide some data type before the name of the method then we expect that method to return that particular type of data. In this case, we are not expecting main method to return anything, but it is just the beginning of the execution of any application, an entry point. So it is not expected to return anything, but it is expected to execute some other methods which are inside that. Now let us come to the static part. Very important. In the previous sessions, we saw what is static? What is the importance of static? And we have also seen that whenever we create a method as static, or a variable as static then we no need to create the object of the class to execute it we no need to create the object of the class to access it so again in this case when we make the main method as static for JVM it is very easy to access the method from the class directly without creating the object of the class so easy for JVM it is very easy to just to find a method which is public static void main and execute it instead of creating the object of the class and then for example if it creates an object 
uh, it means that we need a constructor and when we say we need a constructor that can be multiple constructors also because constructor overloading is allowed then which constructor to use what parameters to pass so in this case there wouldn't have been any consistent way of executing the application right because there can be multiple constructors to so which constructor to call uh, when we want to execute a specific application that confusion arises with that it was the easiest way to just make it static so jvm can call it without creating the object right away that is the reason why the main method is static now let's come to this part what is string args this is an array of strings in this series we haven't yet started understanding the concepts of arrays but just understand that this is an array of strings the args stand for arguments now what arguments are we talking about uh, whenever you try to execute a java application from a command line for example and you want to pass some arguments some command line parameters then you can pass those in the form of array of strings and that will then get utilized when the execution gets kicked off so just to understand the concept string this bracket and args is nothing but the array of strings okay. and what is no such method error main what is this so this error this is an interview question that is why we are discussing so no such method error occurs when jvm tries to search for public static void main because whenever we execute a java application what jvm searches for it searches for exact syntax public static void main uh, method and if it does not find any main method in the program then it shows this error jvm throws the error no such method and program is terminated okay simple thing what is main method an entry point what is jvm a baseline program that provides the runtime configuration why is main method declared as static because jvm can call it directly without creating the object and what is string args is the array of strings which can be passed as argument and no such method error that occurs when jvm does not find a public static void main method and program is terminated as simple as that very important but very easy concepts thank you